guys, it's Courtney. Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is very different from anything that I think I've ever filmed. Um, it's a video that I, I wasn't really going to make, but I've kind of changed my mind. And as you guys can see from the title, you already know what the subject's about. So I'm going to try in this video, try not to cry because I don't know, I'm just... <sighs> I just don't feel like crying today. Today I did my makeup and I want it to stay on. I'm trying out a new foundation. I just, well then again, that might be a good way to test it out, wouldn't it? But whatever, <laughs> I digress. I just, I hope that I can keep this together through the whole length of the video. Um, so yeah, let's talk. All right, so as you saw in the title, I recently experienced a miscarriage and as I just said, it's something that I wasn't really going to talk about, but I think that is a problem. Um, I think a lot of people don't really talk about it enough, and so when someone experiences it, um, you kind of feel alone. And I mean, I didn't really feel like super alone, but I don't know. I, going through it was something that was just something very unexpected. So I'm going to kind of like rewind and kind of go in through all the details um, because you know it's obvious that I've been doing you know some dating videos and I'm sure you guys are going to be like well who's the father and all this stuff so let me kind of rewind we're going to go through everything and there we go. So there is a guy that I have known since I was in elementary school. We went through junior high school together um, and then in high school, he moved away, um, but we were always so close, super best friends. Um, we just clicked. I mean, if you guys watch like Dawson's Creek, you know Dawson and Joey, we were like Dawson and Joey. <laughs> I mean, we were just inseparable in school. Um, a couple years went by, you know, high school, and then in our 20s, we reconnected and it was like, you know, no time had passed. Um, we got along great again. We would stay in contact with each other. And that's how it's been pretty much over the past 15 years. We have, you know, maintained our friendship, been best friends. About two or three years ago, we kind of drifted apart a little bit. And recently, last year, last year I think, we kind of got in contact again and this time he was living um, down in one of the southern states, um, doing really well for himself and, you know, just doing fantastic. I, of course, live up here in Maine, so we did have quite a di bit of a difference between us. <laughs> Sorry, I can't really talk right now. I'm trying to, like, think of everything. Um, we did have some distance between us. So... Fast forward, you know, like, I mean, we FaceTime, we talk on the phone, you name it. Um, fast forward to this, well, it was right before Christmas of this past year. Um, he came up here, his family lives up here and everything. So he came up here for a visit and of course, you know, we decided we'd get together and we did. <laughs> One thing led to another and you know, <laughs> y'all know it happened. Um, of course, he had to go back, you know, to where he lives. That's fine. Um, a few months, actually it was a month, a month prior to him coming here, he had a child born um, with a woman that he was with that cheated on him. They had been separated. Um, so that's probably the reason why he came up this way, because his baby mama lives in this relative area. Um, so he is a new dad. Um, he isn't able to be around his child a whole lot right now. Um, COVID has really played a part in that. You know, both of his parents kind of agree, both of her parents agree that... Um, they don't really want, you know, like a whole bunch of people around and, you know, 
in his line of work he's around a lot of people so he you know he gets to FaceTime her all the time but you know he doesn't get to be hands-on so there's that <laughs> um, fast forward now to January it was the end of January um, yeah, just about the end of, end of January, I was due for my period, and my period has always been very, like, up and down when I was younger, in my teens, in my early 20s, and then when I got closer to my 30s, and now in my 30s, my period is so, like, on time, I can tell you the day it's gonna happen, how long it's gonna last, I mean, you name it, it's right down to a science. So when my period was late, at first I wasn't quite concerned because with my history, it can happen, you know, it can be late, it can not come for a long time. So I didn't really think anything of it. Um, but then I just started feeling very, very different. I, um, the foods that I liked, were just tasting different to me. Um, I'm trying to think what was some of the other signs. Um, boob tenderness, that was a thing. I felt that. Um, it was just tiny little things that, I don't know, it just seemed very different to me. Um, and so, on a whim, I don't even know why I even came to this conclusion, but on a whim, um, decided to take a pregnancy test and it came back positive like that <laughs> um so then naturally I went and I got three more tests and all three of those tests positive um and I about died <laughs> um now I want to preface and say that you know my partner you know we were safe so this was not something that I was really um expecting <laughs> you know um so yeah, I found out I was pregnant and I was just floored. I didn't believe it. I, I'm the type that when I was growing up, I, um, oh my God, I'm trying to talk about this. <laughs> when I was growing up, I wasn't the type of girl that, you know, dreamed about getting married and having kids and, you know, the family life and that just, that's never really been me. Um, I've always just kind of been content of just rolling solo and doing my own thing. Having kids, I mean, I love them, but I'm the type of person that I want to make sure that I have A, B, and C crossed off my list before I even have kids. You know, I want to make sure that I can fully 100% take care of them and, you know, be in the right spot financially and, you know, in a relationship wise, you know, I don't, not against anyone who doesn't do that. but. I just wanted it to be very set in stone, you know, I'm married, I have money, I'm all set, you know what I mean, before I create another life. So when I found this out, I was kind of, I was scared, and then I was kind of just floored, shocked, um, and I know, like, I know that this is gonna sound terrible especially to those that are trying, and I'm sorry, but this is just, this is my reality. Part of me was just kind of bummed that this happened because it's just not what I had planned, you know, it was not in my plans. Um, so I, um, I didn't have, I just, how did this work? I think I just signed up for insurance and was waiting for all like the info and whatever. So I didn't have an insurance to like go to a doctor and do everything, um, but I was in the process of it. Um, a week after I found out that I was pregnant, I woke up in the middle of the night and I just wasn't feeling that great. I felt very lethargic, very t um, just tired, worn down. Um, I did not feel like myself. Um, I got up, went to the bathroom, everything was fine, and, um, I just, you know, I just kind of played it off, whatever. So, 
that day, um, my family and I, we had my niece over, my niece is two. Um, we had her over during that day or she was coming over that day. Um, that morning I just, I stayed in bed. It was just not me at all. I stayed in bed and just wanted to sleep, didn't feel good. Um, but I knew that my niece was coming and eventually I had to get up. So I did and I went to the bathroom and there was blood. Um, there was um, like a little bit of tissue, not anything like major or anything, but just it was slightly different than when I have my period. Um, and part of me just kind of knew right then and there that um, something was wrong. I mean, obviously I knew something was wrong. Um, so I just kind of went the rest of the day. Um, this part, th this part, if I cannot cry during this part, it's going to be hard. So anyways, later on the day, I went over to my parents' house. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hi. You coming in to say hello and be on video? <laughs> we have a guest now. Um, but yeah, so went over to go see my niece and I swear kids know when something is not right. Like just subconsciously they know. Um, she had come over to me that day and she put both of her little hands on the side of my face and she just said, you know, I love you auntie and that just kind of broke my heart. Um, right then and there, in that moment, I kind of thought of like, what could have been, what could be, and I don't know, I was so torn because part of me, a good part of me was not happy about this but then there was this other part of me you know being around my niece and seeing her part of me wondered could I do that could I be a mother could I have a child you know and I don't know that mom was hard but when she came over and she put her hands on my face it was like it was like she knew that day that I was struggling and you know it's not like I let on anything I didn't even tell anybody I didn't tell my parents I didn't say a word I just I just wasn't in that spot I think I was so terrified and plus I wanted to wait until I had done things myself and you know and told the father and that's the other thing I was terrified to tell him because you know he had just had a baby with someone, you know, his baby was just born in November. And I'm like, damn, you know, how am I going to bring this on him? Um, which, fast forward, I told him and he was so supportive. And he still is because he still, he knows that it's still bothering me. At times, you know, most of the time I'm fine. But there are moments when this happens. <laughs> um, God, well, there goes so much for crying, you know. Um, there are moments that I think life just catches up to me. You know, I'm going to be 33 this year. And sometimes I feel like I've just blinked. And time has passed, you know, it's like I was just 18 and now I'm going to be 33. And I know the older that you get, the harder it is to conceive or have a baby. And, you know, I just, I just don't know if that was, you know, the path that I was going to be on or not. Apparently not, but. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> So, I uh, had a telehealth uh, meeting 
with a lovely woman. She was from Planned Parenthood and regardless of how you might feel about Planned Parenthood, I will say that they were fantastic in helping me deal with what I was going through. Um, you know, because of COVID it makes, you know, going to like hospitals and all this stuff harder. Um, I'm the type of person, I don't like hospitals, I don't like doctors, I don't like any of that stuff. So, um, I just talked with her and we went over things and, um, everything seemed to happen as it should have. Um, I didn't really have any complications or anything, everything seems to be fine. Um, I haven't yet had my first period since, um, that should be coming up pretty soon, um, so we'll see, you know, see if that goes normally or what, um, oh god, <laughs> I think this is my first crying YouTube video, you guys, <laughs> normally I don't do these, um, yeah, so, I have since I've told my family, um, I told them after everything happened, um, just because I felt that they needed to know, um, because this is something that I know I'm gonna deal with for the rest of my life. <laughs> so they needed to know, um, and that's kind of why I wanted to come on here and talk about it because, you know, not many people do. Not many people are so open about it. And the thing is, is when I was talking to that lady, you know, it's so common. It happens to so many women. And a lot of the times, like, with me, you know, mine was early on with a lot of women it happens and they don't even know it because they didn't even know they were pregnant yet um for me I had found out because like I said my period was like you know <laughs> it had a schedule and it was you know I could tell you exactly when it was coming so when it didn't that's why I got alerted um I think it's just important to just talk about it so it doesn't feel so closed um talk about it so other women know that it happens um I haven't I haven't you know fully gotten to the place where I can talk about it obviously where I don't cry um but I'm getting there and things are getting better um I'm a firm believer in mother nature and I believe that Mother Nature knows best. Um, I believe that, you know, what's meant to be will happen. And if it doesn't, then there's a reason. So there was a reason why this happened to me and there's a reason why it went away. Um, yeah, so that's my story. Um, I just like I said, I just want to put this out there just so that there's another voice um because you know so many people go through this and they don't have anyone so if I can be you know like someone who's been through it you know you could talk to me you know it's it's nice to have people who've been through things that you've been through and um yeah you know if you're going through a miscarriage or pregnancy loss you know I'm here, you know, if you ever want to talk, you can shoot me on uh, social media. I can't even talk right now, I'm so like, um, you can shoot me messages on social media or something and I will always be here to listen and try and help. Um, I want to say thank you to my friends uh, that I have as my little group on Facebook. Um, some of you guys have reached out and I just want to say thank you very much very very much it means a lot to me um yeah I'm getting stuffy now <laughs> I'm trying to stay happy and be positive and 
yeah, sometimes it's hard, but, you know, we just keep trudging through. So, that's my story. Just wanted to put it out there. Thank you guys for watching this video and listening to me and watching me cry on camera for the first time. Oh, I never wanted to be one of those YouTubers. Never. And there we go. So, whatever. <laughs> I will have up my second bag from the Michaels haul. Um, all this stuff kind of happened in the middle of this and I just haven't had a chance to sit down and edit that video yet. Um, so please bear with me. Um, I'm going to put this one up first just because I think it's a little bit more relevant, more important than a haul from Michaels. <laughs> but that one is coming if you are interested so stay tuned. Alright guys, I'm getting off from here. Thank you all for listening. As always, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.